Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Today's episode is a special hunt for me and my son. Stay with us to see if he can get his first archery deer on the ground at our lease in Yakin County. All right guys, it's Saturday morning, uh, October 27th. Uh, it's opening day of the central muzzleloader season here in uh, North Carolina. So uh, me and Gannon got up a little early so he could come to Waffle House, get us a little, bro little bit of breakfast. Uh, we like our breakfast as Pope boys. So um, we're going to head up to Yakin County and um, hunt at our uh, East Bend lease. Um, this will be Gannon's, I don't know, seventh or eighth time trying to get his bow drawn back on a deer. So uh, we've had them really close to us, but it just has not worked out at this time. So we're hoping today's the day. Um, we're going to run in here and grab some vittles and... Um, hit the road so we'll see y'all later all right we made it up to east bend um, we got chad brown with us this morning so maybe he's gonna lay one on the ground it's uh what time is it about six o'clock no it's probably six twenty or so oh yeah yeah it's, yeah. Uh, it's about six twenty so we're gonna head to the stand uh sunrise at seven ten so we'll have a half hour to get the time you know to give give the deer time to calm down when we we spook them when we walk in. Hopefully we won't spook them. But wish us luck. We'll see y'all later. So we walked in, got set up, and it wasn't long until I saw a spot of brown walking through the trees.
almost jacked up, man. It looked like it looked like a four point. Four point. Cool. I don't care. I don't either. It's a freaking giant mouse. <laughs> now if another deer comes in, what are we gonna do? Shoot him. Shoot the heck on the run we are. Hey. Give me some. All right guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Okay, I'm standing here at the scene of the crime. I was sitting right up there in my lone wolf. And we shot, I shot the deer at, at a two, about two hours ago. Um, and, well, it was exciting. It was very exciting. Um, that's all I can say about it. Uh, he was standing right here, about right here. I believe that we've given him a, enough time. Didn't you say he trip up, trip over that log? Right yeah, there? he tripped over this log. I'm pretty sure. So should be some blood on one of those leaves. Well, let's let's go ahead and walk in the direction he ran. See if you can find some blood. Now keep looking. Well, you hit him, he's got to be bleeding. Look at the green leaves. The green leaves will be harder. It will be easier to see the blood. I see some blood right there again. Look right here. Is that blood right there on that leaf right there? Look, the brown one. Nope, to your right. Your finger's pointing at it. That right there, you don't see that blood? There. Is that blood? Yeah. That's blood, okay, all right. So there's, there's, there's first blood. So let's... Um, Let's continue around this tree, knowing where he ran. Now remember, you shot him on his right side. Yeah. So the blood's more than likely gonna be on the right side of his trail. Oh, here's some here's some nice blood. Oh, oh yeah. What you got? What you got? Oh yeah, that's oh, a lot. Yeah. Now that's the kind of blood you wanna see. Oh, wow. Keep on following the blood trail. It's, it's like, oh my gosh, it's very blood. Keep on following it, buddy. Mm. I'm behind you. <clears throat> Blood's right there. I can see it by my boot. I figure out where it went. I think over here, maybe. Somewhere. So we're tracking the deer, and I'm and I'm coaching Gannon, you know, to find the blood and whatnot. And I'm looking ahead because I always 
look for the deer when I'm tracking and I, I see the deer, but I don't let him know because I want, I want him to find it. Got it? Keep looking. That blood sometimes you can look up high on briars and weeds and brush I see some blood right there all right so so look the deer went right here to so find me some more blood come here look can can you see that blood right there on that leaf yeah okay again is colorblind kind of like Ravon and he has a hard time seeing red for whatever reason so oh what what do you say? I think, yeah, that's him. That's him. Blood? Yeah, no, no, no. That's him. Seriously? Yes. Boy, oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh my God, he's right there. Holy <laughs> crap. Let me zoom in on him. Oh my gosh. G Man, you have successfully <laughs> harvested your first archery deer. Yes. Congratulations, son. That is awesome. Oh my Ooh, God. Weeds. All right, screw the blood trail. Yep, it's a four point just like you said. Yeah. Little four point, isn't that something? What do you think? Very cool. Very cool, I exactly. Love this. Exactly. He's a pretty deer, man. He really is a nice sized deer. I'm not just saying that. He's a good year and a half, year and a half old buck. Oh, man, I'm so <laughs> proud of you, son. I tell you. You've worked for this, haven't you? Oh, yeah. It's been a long time coming. I bought Gannon his bow um, Christmas before last. It was after Christmas, January of 2017, right? I think yep. so. Yep, 2017, because you didn't hunt with it the first deer season because you just, you wasn't strong enough to pull back the required weight. You know, you got to pull 35 pounds with a compound, and he was pulling around high 20s back then. And he worked, and he and he shot, and he lifted weights. He, you know, had some dumbbells. He worked on his shoulders and his back, and uh, eventually got to where he could pull 35 pounds back. I don't know, back in May or so. So we shot all summer, and we went to Boneyard Archery, and Jonathan Brown um, tuned his bow up, you know, with his broadheads and all that good stuff, and. Um, Got him shooting darts. Air was flying perfect. And um, we spent a lot of evenings in the summer fighting the mosquitoes. Right, Gannon? Oh, yeah. Fighting the mosquitoes, shooting our bows. And uh, believe it or not, in the last, what, month, I bumped that weight up to 40 pounds because he's gained some strength. We've been hunting probably, this is probably his eighth or ninth sit. And, and we've had deer all around us. We had a seven-point hang around for half an hour or more on Monday evening. We had a little cow horn at Ravon's farm two weeks ago come in right at dark and just it was just too late to shoot, couldn't see the pins, whatnot. So this is his first opportunity at a deer with his bow and he drilled him. I mean, it couldn't have happened any more perfect. You know, Gannon saw the deer first. I was trying to get the manual focus focus correctly and he just has to be looking in the right direction here comes a buck and he points him out so I spin the camera around turn it on and um, and I had a hard time getting it focused right for a minute or so but finally he walked right on un right under the tree stand and walked into the corn pile quartering away and you know he was he wasn't facing us so i could coach him i could tell him what to do i could tell him how to do it it just could not have been more perfect honestly so just so thankful for this moment thankful for this deer to to come walking up on us really after the shot you know we were both excited and 
you know, talking and high-fiving and whatnot. And, you know, after after we got, got calmed down and I was, you know, thinking about everything, Dad came to mind and a uh, tear came to my eye, honestly. I know he's a, he's a happy camper in heaven right now, seeing his grandson shoot his first first deer with the bow. And I want to say a special thank you to JC for um, bringing me up in the woods and um, teach me how to hunt and whatnot. But, Love you. Love you too. I'm a big crybaby. Tender hearted, but I'm proud of it. <laughs> proud as deer. I'm proud of you for shooting him. Very thankful. So let's get the dragon. So after recovering the deer, I decided it's time for Gannon to um, make the hunt complete and drag the deer all the way to the truck. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Put in four wheel drive. I don't even have wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You got to get your momentum going. Once you get your momentum going, you, you'll be fine. You got to get started, though. Come on. <laughs> you got it. Come on. Lean into it. Kind of lean forward and drive those legs. Make it, buddy. Got bottles of water in the truck. Thank God for that. <laughs> yeah. Is a cheeseburger calling your name? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, not just a cheeseburger. A cheese freaking castle. <laughs> How about some Darios? Oh, What's yeah. up? That's like not sponsored. <laughs> thankful for the opportunity and I'm proud of my son for making the shot he made because it was a pretty daggone good shot. So what do you think G-Man? This was an awesome hunt. I mean I'm just I'm so thankful that this deer walked out when he did the way that he walked in. I mean like you said everything was perfect. We couldn't have asked for a better hunt. That's for sure. That's for sure. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this hunt. Until next time, we're working class outdoors. And remember, we're working for a living and we're living for the outdoors. Y'all take care. Stay with us, Stephen. God almighty! I had it! Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> You're laughing. Okay, here we go. Alright. Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Now I'm hoarse. I sound like I've been running a mile. <laughs> My blood pressure's through the roof. I tell you. <laughs> poor thing. I'm you in poor thing. So we walked in, uh, got set up, and it wasn't long until we saw a splotch of brown. Who's that splotch? Who's that splotch? <laughs> a splotchy. <laughs> so we walked in, and we didn't spook any deer, thank goodness. Oh my god, that sounded too cringy. Oh, good. Oh, god. You're so cute, Gannon, when you're cringe. Dang it. Gosh. I'm not cute. I'm cool. Dang it. Oh, you're still a cutie patootie. Is it square? It looks cockeyed. 